On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at the 2020 Trek Domani SL5. This is a 105 level carbon endurance bike from Trek, and we're going to go over all the features of the new 2020 version of this bike, as well as, of course, find out what it weighs. So be sure to hit that subscribe button, that way you can see videos like this into the future. So what we have here is the newest version of the Trek Domani. So Trek has been making their Domani model for a few generations now, and it's their answer to an endurance bike. So this bike is going to have a little bit taller front end to it. It's going to have a little bit shorter reach, and it's going to have a lot of technology placed into it to make it very comfortable. Now for 2020, they redesigned the entire frame. So this is a brand new frame. It shares a lot of the technology with the SL R version of the bike and I've got a link to the SLR 7 down in the description below so you can take a look at what's different when you go to an SLR version. But looking at the frame it looks almost identical to that SLR and it runs their 500 series carbon. So because this is an SL level of the Domani, 500 series carbon is a little less expensive version of the carbon fiber that you would find on the SLR and it's still going to offer roughly the same ride quality. So you're going to get a lot of the same performance here. So it's a full carbon fiber frame. Of course, it's going to be a carbon fiber fork that goes onto the front and it's actually slightly bladed, which is going to help with some of the aerodynamics of this bike for sure. Another thing that I really like about this bike is of course that it's all internally cable routed and it's done really nicely. So everything comes through on the top tube of the bike, right behind the stem and into the bicycle. And then you just don't have to see it again. It makes for a very clean setup. It's gonna make for a setup that's resistant to weather and things like that as well. And it's also gonna help the aerodynamics on this bike for sure. Now, of course, because this is a disc brake version and Trek is going after making this bike, not only an endurance bike, but a very good do it all bike you're actually going to have room for as wide as 38 millimeter tires. So you can get as big of a tire as you'd really need on the bike. And out of the box, tires on this bike are actually going to be the Bontrager R1 700 by 32. It is the basic version of the road lineup of tires from Trek. But what's really neat about this bike is it's tubeless capable. So the wheels that come on it, the Affinity TLR wheels, are actually tubeless ready. So if you upgraded the tires to a tubeless setup, you could make this bike tubeless ready as well. Now for a drivetrain on the bike, it's gonna be running Shimano's 105. So that means in the back, you're gonna have a Shimano 105 rear derailleur. This of course is gonna be matched up to Shimano HG 700-11, 11 to 34 uh, 11 speed cassette. And then you're going to have a 5034 chainring set on a Shimano 105 crank set. So that means you're getting a full 105 drivetrain here, which is really cool. And of course, for shift levers, this is going to have Shimano's R7020 11-speed shift and brake levers. These, of course, are hydraulic, and they're operating a Shimano 105 7070 flat mount hydraulic brake set on this bike with 160 rotors front and rear. With the specs out of the way, let's go ahead and look at some of the features of this frame. So along with that internally cable routed cable routing, you'll notice that you actually have this door on the down tube. So the door to the down tube actually allows you to go ahead, pop this open, just lifts to the side, door will come off, and then inside you're gonna see there's actually a spot for a tool wrap. So much like uh, say Swap from Specialized or some of the other manufacturers doing integrated storage, this is gonna have a spot for that. It actually has a stop down here and it goes almost all the way up to the top of the top tube. So you have lots of room to place stuff in the bike. And then you also have a spot for a multi-tool that can be mounted on the bottom side of this door here. So that's gonna be great for keeping all your stuff together don't need another saddle bag. And speaking of saddle, underneath this Bontrager Arvada Comp saddle, 
you'll see a very nice carbon fiber seat post, but you'll actually notice that it's keyed and it goes into the seat tube. So this is a departure for Trek. Trek used to have a seat mask that would actually go on top of the frame, but now it's back to a seat post that goes into the frame, but it uniquely goes in and has a hidden clamp here. And what that allows for is this whole seat tube right there can actually flex backwards on what they call their ISO speed technology. So basically that's a bearing set that's inside of the frame here that allows the whole post to go backwards. And the way they do this is gonna allow the compliance of the bike to be the same, no matter how high or how low your seat post is. So a taller and a shorter rider are gonna get the same benefits of comfort as uh, anyone else would. Now up front, they're gonna do a similar technology. So underneath this cap, this cap actually can come off, is another ISO speed. So ISO speed is on the front end and that allows the top bearing race to actually ride on the ISO speed setup and it allows the whole handlebar to flex down ever so slightly to make sure that it helps smooth out the ride and really keep you comfortable when you're out there. Now cockpit on this bike is of course Bontrager. You're gonna have a Bontrager blender stem, which I really like these because the blender stems allow you to have different mounting points. You can see on this one, it's actually got a mount up top for a computer, though you could run all different accessories to it. And then it's got a lower mount too, which is great. And you'll notice that these are actually what are considered GoPro standard mounts, meaning it's that standard design that a GoPro uses. So basically you can mount anything to the front end of the bike, so long as you could get a GoPro style mount for it. So now that we've taken a look, at the features of this 2020 Trek Domani SL5. Let's go ahead and find out what it weighs. The 2020 Trek Domani SL5 in a 58 centimeter comes in and weighs 21.65 pounds. Well, thanks for watching this video on the Domani SL5. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. While you're at it, leave a thumbs up. It lets me know you enjoyed the video.